Donald Trump, a man who's faced it all, assassination attempts, endless court battles, and even the looming shadow of prison time. And now, he's back as the US president. Donald Trump is returning to the White House after a decisive victory over Vice President Kamala Harris. And frankly, Hollywood is losing it. Frankly, this was, I believe, the greatest political movement of all time, there's never been anything Just like minutes this. Minutes after Trump's stunning election win, Hollywood went off. Cardi B's angry rants on social media, Billie Eilish questioning the future, and countless other celebrity reactions flooded the internet. Hollywood celebrities couldn't hold back, and they made it crystal clear how they felt about Trump's return. Now, speaking of holding back, wait till you hear just how far Jimmy Kimmel goes in his take on this shocking outcome. More on that soon, but first, Let's talk about Cardi B. Fresh off a Kamala Harris rally, Cardi didn't hesitate when the election results came in. She posted on Instagram, bluntly saying, I hate y'all bad. Later, when Trump fans came at her online, she fired back, telling them, in true Cardi fashion, to back off. This wasn't just another Twitter rant. It was a full-on battle. Hey, so listen, I'm gonna let y'all know this right now, okay? So you know Trump heads, like, Y'all won, I, I know y'all happy, whatever the fuck. Ain't nobody acting like bitter losers. However, y'all need to leave me the f alone because I got one more fucking cigarette in me before I start lighting your asses up, all right? And that's where to the United States of mother America. Yeah, yeah. And then we have Billie Eilish, who also wasted no time taking to Instagram. She declared Trump's win a war on women in bold white text over a black screen, but she wasn't done. During a concert in Nashville, Billy doubled down, telling her fans, This song is for all the women out there. I love you. I support you. She dedicated your power to every woman who felt like this was a huge setback. You can't get much more direct than that. Someone who hates women so, so deeply is about to be the president of the United States. Ariana Grande wasn't any less vocal Amid promoting Wicked and publicly supporting Kamala Harris, she posted an emotional message on Instagram stories, saying, Holding the hand of every person who is feeling the immeasurable heaviness of this outcome today. She shared a post from Harris. Grande also shared Harris's post-result post to her stories. Sabrina Carpenter, who earned praise for inspiring 35,000 people to register to vote, was equally devastated by Trump's victory. During a concert, she apologized to the crowd, saying, I feel so sorry about our country, specifically acknowledging the pain for women. But she urged everyone to enjoy the night, telling them, you absolutely deserve it. Sorry about our country, but to the women in here, I love you so, 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 so. Meanwhile, Haley Bieber wasn't holding back either. She shared a post from Shit You Should Care About on Instagram, which read, Supporting a convicted felon over a woman is f***ing insane. Haley didn't mince words. She added, That's really all there is to say. Stephen Colbert took to his monologue with the kind of dark humor only he can deliver. He said, after a bizarre and vicious campaign fueled by a desperate need not to go to jail, Donald Trump has won. He followed that up with a sarcastic bright side, joking that at least there will be a peaceful transfer of power. At least he wasn't pretending it wasn't as absurd as it seemed. Seth Meyers joined in with his signature sharp wit, saying, I don't think Donald Trump's a good person. In fact, I'd even go so far as to say he's a bad person. He then hilariously mused, This is real. Half the country either thinks he's good or they don't care he's not. And so, he's president again. That's democracy in America, a privilege to live in, even on mornings like today. Donald Trump's a good person. I'd even go so far as to say he's a bad person. Now, in my defense, I'm only... And, and this is real, and this is something I accept. Half the country thinks he's a good person, or they don't care that he's not because they think he's a good president. And because of that, he's going to be our president again. That's how democracy works in America. Lily Reinhardt, the star of Riverdale, posted her heartbreak for the women who came forward about their alleged assaults by Trump. She wrote, 
I cannot fathom what it feels like to see millions vote for their abuser. My heart absolutely breaks for these women. I believe you, and I am so sorry. Christina Applegate, the actress from Married with Children, went even further. She posted on X, telling her followers to unfollow her if they had voted for Trump. Please unfollow me if you voted against female rights, against disability rights, she wrote. Unfollow me because what you did is unreal. Don't want followers like this. So, yeah, done. Also, after today, I will be shutting down this fan account that I have had for so many years because this is sick. John Cusack didn't mince words either, going straight for the jugular. He tweeted that this election was America's choice to destroy itself by picking a convicted felon rapist as president. His frustration echoed what many others were feeling, a deep nihilism about the future. The fact that the country would choose to destroy itself by voting in a convicted felon rapist is a sign of deep nihilism. To put it mildly, he wrote, Now, as promised, Jimmy Kimmel. This late-night host wasn't holding back. During his monologue, he ripped into the election results, saying, We had the choice between a prosecutor and a criminal, and we chose the criminal to be president of the United States. He, Kimmel went on to predict that Trump voters would eventually realize their mistake, if they hadn't already voted for the criminal who's planning to pardon himself for his crimes. I guess this election wasn't rigged. That's weird though, right? I mean, he said it would be rigged. He said it was being rigged while people were in line voting. Isn't it remarkable that this time the fix wasn't in? Last time the Democrats cheated. This time we chose not to, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Don, this Donald Trump is like, is like the emperor from Star Wars. He's old, he's evil, and he keeps coming back with no reasonable explanation whatsoever. As the dust settled on election night, Kevin McHale of Glee fame expressed his dismay. His posts on X reflected his deep concern, apologizing to the rest of the world, and warning that the Supreme Court was gone for the rest of my lifetime. His grim prediction was that the country was heading towards ultra-conservative evangelical bigotry, xenophobia, and racism. Not exactly a hopeful future, huh? Jamie Lee Curtis, the iconic star of Freaky Friday, wasn't giving up the fight either. She posted on Instagram, noting that while some would celebrate and others would feel devastated, the election results were a mirror of America's democratic values. She acknowledged the fear that many groups, especially women and minorities, would feel under a Trump presidency. Her message? The fight was far from over. We wake up and fight, Curtis said. One fight at a time, one protest at a time. 